Okay, so we're gonna try the one and a half, or I'm sorry, the one inch. Um, so you take your ribbon, make sure both ends are singed. I use a lighter. Um, this is what it's gonna look like in the end. Um, this is the string that I use. I just make sure that it's doubled up. Um, yeah, just use it, make sure it's doubled up. Um, so then you take your ribbon and you make sure that your tails are pretty much even. You don't want to see this back here. Um, so make sure you got it pulled up just enough. Um, and then you take it and you're going to crease it in once and then out once. And then you take, so it'll look like that. Then you take your ribbon. I hold it. I put my finger in the middle of the hole just to make it easier. Um, then you hold this side. You loop one side around until there's enough to be able to tie it with a little extra. And so then you take the other one and you go the opposite way. And then you take it and for the one inch ones, I tie it um, at least three times. Um, let's see here. The larger ones, the one and a half inch, I tie at least four times. Um, well, it's difficult trying to do it this way. <laughs> I normally have it closer to me. Okay. And then you trim the string off. You just want to make sure that you leave like just a little bit. Because if you don't leave just a little bit, for some reason they want to come undone. Um, then after you're done, you just pull the ends. Um, I mean, none of them are going to look exactly the same, but, and you can always, like, uh, this one has longer tails and this one doesn't. You can always pull this one, like, you just crease the, you just pull more of these and pull them down. Just make sure that it doesn't pull from there. Um... And then you've got them, like I said, they're still not going to look exactly the same. Um, but that's the one inch. <laughs>